on the center, the vertices, the foci, and the eccentricity of the ellipse. 4x squared minus 8x plus 9y squared plus 36y plus 4 equals 0. So let's review each of those terms and the standard equation of the ellipse. So, standard equation of the ellipse will be x minus x0 squared over a squared plus y minus y0 squared over b squared equal to 1. This will be the equation when the ellipse is long in the x direction, which means a will be larger than b, and a and b are both positive. Okay, our center is going to be x0 comma y0. Then for our vertices, we're going to take x0, I'll add and subtract a from that, and we'll have the same y0. For our foci, we're first going to solve for c, which will be positive. We'll have c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Then we're just going to take our center. I take x0, I'm going to add, subtract c from that. We have the same y0. That'll be the location of our foci. Then finally, the eccentricity will just be c over a. So if c, okay, c is going to be between 0 and 1. If c is near 0, that means the foci are close to the center, and we're looking like a circle. If c is closer to 1, then our foci are far from the center, and we're looking more elongated. Okay, also note, what's the geometry of the ellipse? Well, we take any two points, they're gonna be the foci, we're gonna connect our two points with a piece of string, we'll mark off a point where the string is taut, and then as I just sweep this thing around one revolution, that's gonna sweep out an ellipse. Now, to find our items, we're gonna to need to complete the square twice. We'll need to do it once for our x terms and once for our y terms. So, how do we complete the square? Just remember it this way. I'll take x plus a, quantity squared, it's gonna be equal to x squared plus two ax plus a squared, move your a squared to the other side. Then you just need to identify the two a that's in front of x. So, for my first expression, I have 4x squared minus 8x, factor the 4 out, and then in what's left over, we'll have 2a equal to minus 2, or a equal to minus 1. So the new expression is x minus 1 squared minus 1. Okay, now note, a is equal to minus 1, so when I square it, I get a 1, and then we do minus 1. So note, doesn't matter what goes in for your a squared, it's always going to have a minus sign out in front. Okay, positive or negative goes in for a, still a minus sign. Okay, y expression. We're gonna factor a nine out, gives me y squared plus four y. So here, two a is equal to four, or a is equal to two, so I have y plus two squared minus four. Okay, you push your nine through, you get your new y expression. Now, go to the original equation, replace the x and y expressions with their new ones, Simplify, and then algebra is just going to carry us to our standard form, which will be x minus 1 squared over 9 plus y plus 2 squared over 4 equal to 1. Now that we have our equation in standard form, I want to pick off all the items on our list. First, the center. So I have x minus 1, so our x0 is going to be equal to 1. Here, I have y plus 2. I think of this as y minus a minus 2, we have y0 equal to minus 2. So that gives us our center at 1 comma minus 2. That'll be our point here. Next, the vertices. We need to figure out if we're longer in x or in y. So to do that, take a look at our denominators. So 9 is bigger than 4, so 9 is going to be equal to a squared, so our a is equal to 3. To get my vertices, I take our center, take the x value, add and subtract 3 from it. So our new x values are going to be minus 2 and 4. So 
we're gonna have vertices, okay, just going each direction by three. So at that point at minus two, comma minus two, and then this point at four comma minus two. To get the points off of our center in the y direction, we use the b squared. Okay, so b squared is four, so b is equal to two. So I go from the center up to and then down to. Okay, now we could just connect the dots and that gives us a general idea of our graph for the ellipse. Now, we're gonna need to get C for our foci and the eccentricity. So we're gonna solve C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So it's gonna be nine minus four. So C is equal to square root of five. Now, if I want the foci, I'm gonna take our center, add and subtract square root of five to the X value. So that's gonna be one plus or minus square root of five, comma, minus two. Those are the points for our foci. So they'll be right there and there. Now, for our eccentricity, we just take C over A. So it's square root of five over three. Put that in a calculator, you get 0.75. That's closer to one than zero. So that means our ellipse is gonna be elongated and our foci are gonna be far from the center. So if you notice, our foci are kind of close to our vertices here.